Hey guys, my name is George and today we're going to learn how to uh, create a key store for signing our Android application. So basically this process is uh, quite easy, it's not that complicated. Uh, basically, uh, if we're going to do this manually, what we are going to do is, uh, need is basically our terminal and with that uh, we're going to create a uh, directory where we're going to put our key store. So right now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a uh, directory called uh, keys so that's the name I'm giving to my directory I'm going uh, to get inside that directory okay so what is the key store for uh, basically when we have uh, Android applications or well not only Android applications there, there are also other kind of uh, apps uh, which actually use uh, key stores but um, when you want to compile a, a, a dot apk uh, basically an android application for when, when you want to publish it uh, to google play for example uh, you may need to build this application and you might uh, uh, well n not might uh, actually you will need to sign it um, with a key and this key basically contains uh, your author data and it also serves a, as a signature so that, that if you use uh, Google APIs, for example, if you use uh, Google Plus API or you use uh, the YouTube API, then uh, by sending your application, Google would know, hey, uh, okay, so you are this user, I'm going to let you use uh, my API. So th that is one of the reasons why uh, we need to send in our uh, apps. So basically, if you have Java installed, uh, first uh, we're going to check if we have uh, Java. And, uh, oh, why did I do that? Okay, so Java version, okay. So I have uh, Java 8, and uh, basically if you have Java installed, uh, you can access a program which is called the Key Tool. So the Key Tool uh, is basically uh, this uh, key and certificate management tool, and this is the one that you're going to use to create uh, your um, Android key or your key store, okay, which uh, we're going to use to sign Android applications. So creating this um, uh, this key store is actually really easy. All you need to do is you need to type in the command key tool, and you're gonna give it some parameters. So we're gonna uh, generate a key. So that is why we're going to use uh, the option uh, slash uh, gen key, okay. So after that, uh, we're going to say, okay, so I wanna know. Uh, what name or basically what name are we going to uh, put to the key store? So I'm going to use the option key store, key store, and after that I'm going to put uh, the name I want to uh, um, or how I want to name my key store. So I'm going to use my key dot key store. So basically, uh, that's the most basic. Then uh, we're going to put in the, an a alias. So my alias is gonna be whatever I want. Uh, for example, I want to use uh, my app. This will be my alias. And after that, uh, we want to specify which algorithm are we going to use to um, uh, to cipher uh, this key. So we're going to use the uh, option key alg which uh, is the algorithm we're going to use and we're going to use RSA so this is the one that we're going to need and after that uh, we can specify a uh, size so what Google recommends uh, is actually to use uh, 2048 just like that and then we're going to set up a validity in day so how long will this key work so the validity is going to be set in days uh, so if we set uh, 365 this will be uh, basically one year and if uh, you want to add like 10 years it will be like this and uh, 100 years it will be like this so you can set up like uh, i don't know like 10,000. i think that would be okay and uh, days uh, so this is as long as it is going to last and uh, after that you just hit enter and uh, the key tool is going to um, request uh, for some information. Now, the first uh, uh, information that we need to give to this key is actually a password. Now, uh, for this example, I'm going to just put in a really, really easy password. I'm going to put uh, from one uh, through, through eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Enter, then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, then it's going to ask you for some personal information. So I'm, I'm just going to put Jorge, which is my name. 
and then a uh, name of organization. So I don't have actually an organization, so I'm just I'm just going to put my name again. So Jorge again, and uh, what is the name of your organization? So again, my name, and uh, uh, just like that. So uh, city or locality here, you can put uh, whatever you want. So I'm going to put uh, the world, for example. And uh, what is the name of your state or province? Um, somewhere <laughs> so for a real key store you don't want to put this uh, uh, you just uh, put the real data because uh, this is actually a, a really serious process and when you're signing your applications and then you put uh, the tooler country code uh, for this unit so if you're in the US you just hit US uh, for example if you are in um, I don't know in Spain you, you will uh, hit uh, ES and uh, or UK for example so I'm just gonna go with US and hit enter and now this will be my data I need to uh, uh, say uh, to my key tool if this information is correct so I'm going to hit Y which uh, stands for yes and then I'm going to enter the key password that I actually just gave uh, to the key tool so I'm going to hit 1 through 8 like one, once more just like that and once again So that's it. Now, if you hit uh, LS, you will see uh, my key store over here. So this key store, you can use it uh, to sign in your application. In uh, if you want to uh, debug uh, your application or uh, release in a uh, de debug mode, uh, you can use this key store, and you will uh, you, you may be able to debug your application uh, signed. So you can access uh, Google APIs, for example, or you can also use it. Um, to sign in uh, for a production application. So this is basically how you create a key store. Now I'm gonna go to Android Studio over here and if you want uh, to set up this key store, uh, for example, to uh, sign in uh, debug apps, uh, all you need to do is you need to go to Android Studio, uh, File, Project Structure. So we're gonna go to the structure over here. Um, we're gonna go to App and in sign in, I'm going to put inside here I'm going to create a new configuration, so I'm going to hit the plus button down below. Um, I'm going to uh, say that this is going to be the debug configuration. The key alias is my app, which is the same one that I gave to uh, the key tool um, a little while ago. The key password, as I said, 1 through 8. And the store file, now here, uh, you need to uh, put the same uh, path. For example, I created, uh, where was it? Keys my key dot key store so i'm going to choose this file this is the key that i just created and i'm going to put once again the password i just used and with this you hit apply and in build types you go to build types here and uh, for the debug configuration you want to use the sign in config uh, which is actually debug so just like this every time you debug your app not uh, in a release mode but in debug mode um, every time you compile your app will be signing in uh, with this um, debug key store so basically that's it guys so I hope you like this tutorial uh, if you liked it uh, please uh, don't forget to uh, click the like button below you can also leave a comment I would really appreciate that and also you may subscribe to my channel so see you guys later bye bye